Good morning, everyone. We're in Casablanca, Morocco, and we're at a beautiful Jewish school called Neve Shalom. As you can see, there are over a hundred children that learn in this school. You can see here the children are playing in the playground, the kindergarten children right here behind me. And we just met with the headmaster of the school. His name is Rabbi Sabag. Rabbi Jackie Sabag has been the principal together with his wife, the headmaster, for over 40 years in the school. This week's Torah portion is about Korach, and Korach led a rebellion against the leadership of Moses. And of course, Korach was swallowed up in the ground alive. And our rabbis tell us that until today, Korach repents for his sin. And he says the following four words, Moshe emet v'torato emet. Moses is truth, and his Torah is truth. And indeed, when you come to a school like this, you see the words of Korach. Moses is truth and the Torah is truth. The definition of truth is something that is continuous, uninterrupted. The letter emet, the words emet, is Aleph Mem Taf. Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Mem is the middle letter. Taf is the last letter. And our rabbis say, how do you know something is true? If it is continuous, if it has no interruption. Something that is truth is enduring and eternal and everlasting. This school represents the continuity and the truth of the Torah because the Jewish community in Morocco has existed for at least 2,000 years from the time of the Second Temple and according to some 2,500 years from the time of the First Temple. This school is an unbroken chain of Jewish study and learning Torah here in Morocco for 2,000 years. And that's the truth of the Torah. Everything this community has been through in 2,000 years, it continues to teach Torah and live by Torah because Torah is truth and everlasting and it's the unbreakable power of Torah and Moses' truth as expressed through the Torah. It's not without hardships. Despite the beautiful community here in Morocco and the camaraderie and the friendship and the warmth, and I have to say we've been here only a few hours, and you see fellow Muslims who are our cousins smiling at us, welcoming us, being warm to us. It's a very unusual experience to be surrounded by Muslims and Arabs who express warmth and love and support for the Jewish people. However, there's always those who are fanatical. Rabbi Sabag related to us a story that 21 years ago he was walking just a few blocks away from his school when he heard someone walking behind him. He thought someone was coming to pat him on the back to greet him. He turned his face to see who it was. And an Islamic fundamentalist with an axe swung an axe at his face and slashed his face. Miraculously, he survived. And through surgery, he was able to restore his face. And thank God he is healthy and alive and well. And in the court case, when the Arab was being questioned by Rabbi Sabag's Arab attorney who loves Rabbi Sabag and the Jewish people. He said, why did you do this? He said, because Allah told me to do it. And he said, if Allah told you to do it again, would you do it again? He said, yes, I would do it again, but this time I wouldn't miss. This is the story of the Jewish people who persevere under all circumstances. Korach was mistaken when he challenged the leadership of Moses. Moses is the eternal truth of the Jewish people as expressed through the Torah. This institution is a living example of the unbreaking chain of Torah that supports and enables Jews to live in places around the world, even in a majority Muslim country, because with the Torah, we gain the truth and the eternity of Moses and the Jewish people. Have a wonderful day.